How nice of you guys to finally show up. I already started. Are you guys always fucking late? Anyways, don't worry. It hasn't heated yet, but I did warm the rice already. 300 grams of rice. All right, off season. I still measure the rice, and the reason is just to make sure I eat enough. If I wanted more, I would add it. It's pre-workout. We're training at 12. It's 10.25. I'm behind on this. John on the fucking dogs. Hey, Donna, come. Come here. Harvey, come. Donna, come. Donna, come. Donna, come. Donna, come. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Your fans are waiting. Donna. Donna, sit. Good girl. Down. Donna, sit. Donna, sit. Good. Look at you. You're too crazy. You're too crazy. All right. I had to bring them in because they were getting wild. We got the door open. People walked by. It's a mess. It's fine. It's fine. A long night last night. We went out and had sushi with the fellas. There was a lot of bodybuilding talk. You guys don't know this, but I don't like talking about bodybuilding. It's boring. It doesn't matter. And guys, it's cool. I get it. You were excited. It's just, do you guys sit around and like, say you work at a truck shop. Do you sit around with your buddies and talk about trucks? All the fucking time. I would talk to you about trucks. Because I like trucks. And I don't work in trucks. Anyways. I digress. Here's what we're doing. We're making pre-workout. I haven't even decided what meat to go with. I'm going to go steak. I'm going to go steak. And here's why. I have a problem going too spicy pre-workout. So if I use too much of the mustard on a leg day... Me burping it up. It's not good. I don't want to puke today. I don't like puking on Saturdays. Just Sundays. It's a religious thing. All right. So those are going. I grab my steak. The cool thing about opening this fridge is there's no drugs in there, so we're cool. Uh, oh wait. Mm, shit. Okay. There's some. A small amount up here. Uh, steak. I have to somehow edit that. Uh, we the steak. Here we go. Now, see the rice here? This is where I had put too much steak and I put it in the rice. And I'm the only one that eats it, so I just throw that shit right back in there. Don't come to my house and eat my shit. That'll be weird. That was on my plate at some point. Alright, so those are going. You can't smell it, but it smells delicious. We give it another spray, because you guys know I love the Pam. You need an exact measurement on those. There we go. Those are going. Give them some more of that. Turn that down a hair. We need to weigh the steaky. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I do ounces on steak. And I do grams on rice. I need my rice to be an exact science. Not my steak. We're going to have to go shopping, Todd. We are low on steak. 9.15. It's going to put us over. I knew it. It's okay. We're eating all of it. we got the situation. Shit. Now we got a problem. Just someone used the last of the damn things. Probably me. I like to get them all on both sides. I only got one hand here because this one's dirty. Shit! There we go. There we go. Alright. Everything's going to be okay. Now while those are going, I can get that. Oh no, it's in the other closet. Alright, we're going to have to use... I'm going to have to put it on one of these. It's fine. I have like ten... You're not supposed to have three there, I don't think. I think two is plenty, so I should probably put the two D's over here, or the two of these, but I have three. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine, everybody. Okay, so those are there. See the nice coloration? Got some brownage going there. Okay, now, soy. Bomb it up.
Linda. Yeah, Hanks. What are we doing, guys? Even distribution. There we go. Boom. And we slide. There we go. What are we doing? We're caramelizing. You see the caramelization? It's amazing. Now, I like it. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Well, this is a code red. This is why I don't like to have people over to my house. They move shit. It wasn't Todd. I had someone else here. We're not gonna discuss that. Just a dash, just a dash. Okay, now, truth be told, I oversoyed, but it's gonna be fine. Because the rice goes in. Look at that, guys. Look at that. All right, it's looking scrumptious. <laughs> Boom. Okay, usually, usually, I would uh, put some greens in there as well. But, like I said, we're a little behind schedule. I don't want to overfill Bob. For those of you who are new, Bob is my stomach. I named him... God, 18 years ago, Bob, Bob my stomach. The reason I name him is because he talks to me. He'll look up at me like, ah, which means he's hungry. Okay, so you let that roll, leave that there. Don't be afraid to get crispy, okay? Just relax, you're not gonna burn it, it's fine. Okay, then, Todd, you can stay right where you are. Grab the small fork. So these are tenderloins. I'm a big fan of tenderloin. Those of you who don't know, it's another name for filet basically, give or take. These are little chunks. I don't know what they're called exactly. My boy takes care of me at AJ's. Calls me when these are ready. Boom. So just chop them up. I'm a big scissor user. Jay Cutler taught me that personally. And by personally, I mean I watched a video and he was just doing it and I pretend he talked to me. Whatever. If you guys watched the video, he was also talking to you, but primarily me. We're pretty much homies. So, I feel as though Jay was just passing the torch because we're like the same level of bodybuilder. I'm a better cook, obviously, but... Whatever, and I have way more money than him. Way more. Okay, that's that. Enough about Jay. He's always trying to get in my videos so people will know who he is. You know, people do that that aren't that famous. They try to get in with the famous guys and they name drop. Yeah, he does that shit all the time. Okay, there we go. That's that. Now, I only use like four ingredients, right? Always. Every video you guys will notice I suck at cooking. That's why this is funny. Onion powder. We got onion powder. Now, don't buy this McCormick one. Okay, you need to get a great value one, but they were out, and here's why. The holes are super small. So like, when it was steamy one day, it actually got where they were clogged. They had clogged garlic holes. Or I'm sorry, onion holes. So you put a shit ton of that on there. Boom, all right. Nice, nice. I know you guys are concerned that I'm going to overcook the steak. It's fine because this is like a big fucking mess of shit. So it doesn't have to be medium rare anymore. We get that going. Okay. Now. It's time to go Gordon Ramsay on that ass. What's that mean? I don't know. Just put one more thing in. I like to say his name just because if he ever actually watched my video, he'd probably die. Basil. Fresh, of course. Drop them in. If you guys could smell that, you would understand why it's a game changer. I just put a little bit in when I actually cook it. So that's that. 
Now, square plate, obviously. Give it one more little swishy. I know what you guys are thinking. Why did I put the basil in already? The answer is, I don't know why I do it that way. But I'm going to put some more at the end. So, another thing you guys are going to ask, and I'm going to get bitching and moaning in my video. You never told us what was on the steak, which is a valid point, because I didn't cook the steak for you. So I'm going to show you. So I don't leave any, I don't like to leave too many grains behind, even in the off season. So pull them in tight. I don't know why people say I eat a lot of food before I train. It's just a pile. It's a giant fucking pile. Okay, well, that's that. This goes back over here. I think we're gonna go to the mustard first. Boom, mustard. Uh, up, 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 where the fuck is it? Maybe I like it. Southwest spicy. Southwest hot. It used to be called Southwest spicy. Anyways, give it a shake. This is not like normal mustard. You guys know I fucking hate like French's mustard. Disgusting. Did you notice how I went silent there? It's like when your mom's driving the car, she's like, shut up, shut up, I'm trying to read the signs. I'm focusing, because I wanted even distribution. Back with the basil. Again, I don't really know why I put some in while it's in the pan, and then put it in at the top. There's no rhyme or reason, but I always do it that way. It wasn't a mistake, doing it for years. I'm sure it somehow affects the gains in a positive manner. It'll definitely make me stronger today at the gym. And here, ooh, that one fell, is our finished plate of delight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you steak and rice. It always comes back to steak and rice. What's your favorite meal? Steak and rice. How do you make it? Steak and rice. Who cares? Pre-workout. 10.38. Gonna be about 15 minutes late anyway, so we're fine. See you guys at the gym in a minute. Have a lot of